I'm going to show you how to use the very basic watercolor techniques to finish painting this still life, the yellow pier. For this painting, I'm going to use a new watercolor paper. I'm going to do a little review. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold here. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. I'm going to start from the main object. I'm going to take the yellow color, making sure there is enough paints. And have a little red color because not exactly just yellow. Have a little red. More like the color that we want. So what we're going to do, we're just going to paint into the space here. And what about the highlight? We're going to lift up the color for the highlight because in that case, we can create some really, really soft glowing highlight. So I'm going to take the Mix a little bit more yellow color. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna come back over here and turn around. Take a look. That's good. Like that. That's good. Now at this point, you also want to add some shadow color into it. A little bit more red, a little bit blue color. And this color now is darker. Now you can try it. You put over there, is darker and maybe a little bit more red. Just think about between the two colors. Now there's a little bit more red. Now you get the kind of brown color, a light brown color, right? Now use only half of the brush, one half of the brush coming through over here. I'm more like a tapping, okay? Tapping on it like that. So this is the first round. Uh, clean my brush. Just use the side of the water bowl to let go most uh, wet like that. That's good. If you want it to be drier, you just use the two fingers, squeeze the water out, and that's easy. Like that. You don't want to finish the whole pier before you go into the outside because you don't know exactly this color, the correct color. After you put all other color together, you're going to see a little bit more clear. This the color may be too light or too dark. All right, so we're going to move on to paint the color of their background and also the cast shadow. How can we mix the color in the background? You can change the color if you want. So we can do a little bit, maybe a little cooler, maybe a little bit purple if you want. So I'm going to try it, start from the blue color. Start a little testing, get a little red color in here. And take a look and add a little water to it. It needs to be darker than the shadow side of the pier. Uh, so I'm going to test it over here. Is that the right color? Or it's not. And I'm going to add a little bit more red, get into here and test it. Oh, actually I like this color a little bit better. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start painting around. I'm going to take this color. I'm going to paint it around. I'm going to paint it a little bit faster. Okay, here you go. Look around over here. So when you first time like a brush over, you actually you brush the color around it and actually it doesn't have much color stay on the paper. So in this case, you can tap, tap, tap and put some color back into it. And maybe we also can Paint it again with a little bit more color. I'm going to mix a little bit more color. I like to mix as we paint. Or uh, you say, I like to paint as I'm mixing the new color. I'm going to put it over here. Is that dark enough? It's probably fine. I'm going to go in over here and take a look at the position. Okay, 
that's fine. I'm gonna coming up over here and painting around the outside edge. Get a little bit even. Okay, here you go. And you can change the color as you painting the rest of the that's good. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more red and take a look on this side. Need to be a little bit lower. Here you go, like that. That's okay. Now we just fill in the space for the background area. Now the next thing I like to do, I'm gonna use a calligraphy brush painting the cast to shadow. There you go, the smaller shape. So let's start from the bottom over here. Have a little bit more red color. Mix the color a little bit darker. Like that. Good. Now I'm gonna start even more blue. Okay, right here. I'm gonna start from the bottom. Now the POD drive. So it's okay. And putting the color in here and coming up a little bit slowly. And here you go, right there. And right over here. Now fill in the shape. Pay attention to the location. Okay, now when you get over here, I'm going to start soften that, make that a little bit, a little bit lighter. So in this case, I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to take a little bit uh, brown color, which is good. Brown color has yellow, red, and a little blue, but more yellow and red, right, than the blue color. So I'm going to mix this color in here. It's a, more like a neutral color. So now I'm going to have this color on the outside. You see that? Because wet into wet, it really making the color soften. I'm gonna make the edge over here, like that. It's good. And we're gonna let it dry, and before we come back to make another adjustment. Now I see the pink accumulate at the bottom, so I just use a little tissues, and I'll tap on it, and lift it up. Otherwise, we're gonna have the bad run effect which is the wet cumulate at the bottom is going to running back to the surrounding area at the bottom. You don't want that texture and you're going to uh, proactively and let it go. Now we can see that the shadow side of the pier definitely is not dark enough. So we want to have a little warmer color over here too. So I'm going to come back to use the one inch flat brush do a little adjusting. So I first clean the brush, I'm making sure there's no other paints in here. A little clean. Now let's take a look. I'm gonna make it a little bit darker. Always think about the value before you're thinking about the color. You know, think about how dark is it before you think about, oh, how, how I'm gonna mix that dark color. Okay, there's a little bit too much red. So let go some of it and then Get a little bit more yellow color and coming back over here. Now I'm going to get this orange color, but I need a little bit blue to make it a little bit more gray. So I think this is a good color. This is good. Now what I want to do, I'm going to take a look over here. Going around, I only use half of the brush. And coming all around over here. Now I'm going to set this color a little bit outside over here. I'm going to start doing some um, softening uh, for the edges. And then coming around over here, it looks like color turn a little bit less warm, but need to a little bit more blue color. Would appear to be a little bit more like a green. Okay, here you go. Putting the color down at the bottom over here. Here you go. Like that. Now the whole shadow area, it looks darker. Okay. Now I'm gonna clean my brush. I'm gonna 
only use a small amount of orange color. And coming back over here, I can see this area have a little connection, but the color on the light side is usually a little bit brighter. Now I'm gonna have, have the color a little bit connected into the middle tone. And coming like that, that's good. That's good. And then coming down over here, I also have some middle tone, but it's a little bit more blue color, kind of gray. Now I'm gonna touch in here. Here you go. That's good. And over here. That's good. Now we finish rendering the middle tone. Now I'm gonna clean my brush, just use my two fingers, make it a little drier. Now I'm gonna just have it a little soften the edge over here, like that. A little bit soften. And now it looks like this, the color pushing over, so I need to soften that a little bit too. There's a very basic practice, basic techniques, but I'm gonna soften the whole area over here, that's good. Now like that, I have a little bit better transition, okay, like this. And I'm gonna soften that a little bit and come back with the warm orange color, the warm brown color, I'm gonna come back here. Just tap on it, because if you do the, uh, brush over, it actually gonna brush the color around. Now, here you go, come back over here, lift up a little color over here, and we can do a little bit more editing after we come back. And now the shadows I up the here are much richer now. Now I also want to use the corner of this brush. I'm gonna make this highlight a little bit lighter. And so just use the corner to move it. Now as we lift up the color, okay, lift it up. This flat brush has a very strong ability to remove color. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna get away from that. I'm gonna add some dark color right underneath and I also have this dark color get into the wet space at the bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna mix a little red with this blue color. It's pretty dark, that's good. Now I'm gonna take a look at and putting the dark color right over here. And it's usually, it's very deep because it's right at the bottom here at the gap. And this is good, like that. I'm gonna soften the color a little bit by having a little bit lighter color and connect it. Here you go, very nice. Now we finish the bottom over here. And I think this is a pretty good transition from uh, dark to a little lighter and lighter. That's good. Now we're gonna come in to give it some suggestions to the stem at the top. And let's get a little yellow color, mix it into it, a little blue. So it looks pretty good, it's dark enough. Now I'm gonna put this right in here. Now I'm gonna leave a little bit light uh, for the highlight. Okay, going around and leave a little bit light shape, the highlight over here. That's good, like that. And after you drive, I also go into work into the uh, catch the shadow, cast by the stem, like that. This is good. I'm going to use the large brush. I'm going to do some removing some of the unwanted texture. You just use the large brush so you can remove the texture. 
if you use a small brush, you're going to create more texture. So here you go. Remove those texture and move a little bit softer like that. Those are all very basic, simple technique for watercolor. Now it's much better. So at the beginning, you don't need to worry too much about the texture. You can always can do that a little bit later. I also want to mix a little bit more orange color to fine tune the, the color a little bit. I'm going to start over here. This is a little bit light orange color, like around over here. And coming around on this side. Okay. I'm going to have a little bit more yellow and the blue color on this side. It's a little bit too much red like this. Okay. Now coming around and to enhance the shadow, make it look even better. Okay, coming up a little bit. Use the, the wet brush to soften the transition. Now the form much stronger for the painting. We're going to add some spots on the surface and that is just warm gray color. So you get a little yellow, a little red and mix a little blue color, but it's not really, really dark. Let's testing it. I'm going to push that start from the top over here. And this is good. That's the right color, the right darkness and then make them a little random like that you control how much that you want to how many do you want to add to the surface you do this as your last step okay like this and then this painting is finished in summary, this watercolor paper is a good material for doing watercolor exercise. I have the link in the video description. Give it a try. See you in my next video.